Hi everyone, my name is Heather. I wanted to share this new digital kit that's in my Etsy shop. It's called Secret Garden. And then later in the video, I'm gonna make some folded tag holders. So this vintage wallpaper pattern is part of this kit. I love that blue with the, the floral and the bow. And then there are a lot of just florals and birds, different garden sort of references in this kit. This garden image is just so pretty. I love that so much. So yeah, just different, a lot of blues in this kit, a lot of birds, like I said. I love these ones. They're so pretty. And I love this drawing of the lady with the lilies around her. I want to use that in something special. Lots of cute little kids with their flowers and chickens. <laughs> and I love this bluebird here with the basket. That one is so pretty. So yeah, lots of different papers for your paper crafts. You can cut apart or just use them as they are. I love the swallows. This is like a little booklet that you can cut out. You can print it smaller and make it tiny or whatever. Lots of bluebirds. This is an envelope that you can fold. And those lilacs are so pretty with those little birds. So as you can see, there's just different variations of that wallpaper pattern that I created into different papers. So after this, I'm gonna start making a these little folded tag holders, and they are completely inspired by Heather of Rose Hill Paper Cottage. She made them for a design team project one time, and I've always wanted to make them. They're so cute and just super simple, just folding paper, really. So to get started, I printed on both sides of my papers and I printed at eight inch by 10 inch size. So I put like the birds on the one side and then the garden image on the other. And then the, the images do bleed through a little bit whenever you double print like that. So you just kind of have to be aware of what paper you're using and how they look once you double print like that. But all I did for that was I put my paper in my printer and then it ran through and then I just flipped it over and ran it through again so that it would print on the back. Cause I've had people ask me like, how do you do that? You just basically run it through your printer again a second time. So now I'm just gonna tear off all the white edges and I like the idea of tearing the paper so that they're torn looking. So now I'm just going to take a little time and ink the edges a little and crinkle them up and make it look a little bit worn and tattered, just going around the edges of the papers and doing that. So now that I have both papers aged on the edges like I like, I'm going to start folding to make the pockets. And I want the birds to be on the front of this one. So I'm folding to get the pattern right where I like it. And I'll make sure I link Heather's video because she has her version is really cute as well. It's very similar to this. It's just, I think she might have folded her paper a little bit different. But, um, but yeah, I'll link that in my description box below. And then also... Make sure you check out on my playlist tab. I have all of the design team projects in a playlist, which is really fun to go through. So I'm folding this next section in and then just kind of lining the paper up how I like want it to look. I think what I love the most about this, these pockets is the printing on both sides because whenever you start opening up your paper, you see such a pretty pattern on the inside as well. I'm just trying to fold my paper so that a little bit of the blue shows on the left side. So I'm just kind of getting my folds right. And then even just 
folding a couple different places a couple different times, I feel like it adds to that aged look. And then all I did was just fold the bottom part of that paper up and you can fold anywhere you like. So whatever you think looks best with your pattern. So now I was just folding up the corner there a little bit so that the blue from the wallpaper can show through. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom, just folding it over, seeing where I like it, how, how I like it to look. And I like the idea of it just being folded there, especially because that the little girl's feet are at the bottom of that pocket. And so I was trying to hide them just a little bit. So then all you do to keep this all together is just use a paper clip or some type of clip closure and then it'll hold your pocket closed on the bottom and your papers all together. And then whenever you want to open it up, you just remove the clip. I was even thinking on the inside there on that wallpaper pattern, it would be pretty to put writing in there for journaling. So if you wanted to tuck one of these in your journal, you could open that up and journal on the inside. So for this one, I really want the birds with the lilacs to be on the front of the pocket. So I'm folding this paper, basically folding it in half. And then I'm going to be folding this one a little bit different, but definitely want those birds to be at the top of this pocket. And then I'm just going to fold the right side of that over, the edge over onto the front of the pocket. I just keep playing around with that right side to until I get it how I want it to look. And now I'm just going to fold over the pocket on this one as well. So I love the concept of just folding a piece of paper into a pocket. It kind of reminds me of like if there was a old tattered, you know, paper that someone folded up and you found it and you open it up and there's a treasure inside, something like that. So they would be really fun addition to a journal or any kind of paper crafting project. And then just add your paper clip to hold everything closed. And then you see you have a pocket at the top. And then you have a pocket on the front where the paper clip is. So there's two pockets there basically. So 
So now I'm going to make this envelope, which is part of that di digital kit. And I printed on both sides of this paper. I put the envelope on one and then that wallpaper pattern on the other. And then I'm just gonna cut off the edges and fold it up. I'm just using my ruler to tear the edges on this paper, but I don't always have really good success when I use a ruler. I don't know, I always tend to just fold and tear my papers that comes easier to me. But some of you guys out there, you are such pros at this. So all you have to do is just fold along the lines of that envelope. So a long time ago, that's how they would make their envelopes is I guess they would send letters and just fold the paper into an envelope and then send it in the mail. So I'm just using my nail file here to rough up the edge of that paper. I think sometimes when you use a nail file, it kind of roughs the edge and then it tears it a little bit here and there. It's a really good tool to use if you like the aged look to your papers. I'm just gonna tuck a few little treasures inside of this envelope before I fold it up.
So now I'm just using this piece of brown cardstock to make a base for the tag that I want to make for the inside of this pocket. So I'm going to make a tag to put in the top of each pocket. So here they are all finished. I think they turned out so cute and you can add so many different things to these or change them up in different variations, but I hope you enjoyed watching my process of making these and thank you for the inspiration, Heather, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.